You've likely seen them, those giant holes in some people's earlobes. It's called ear stretching or lobe gauging. And while it goes back a long way, it really became popular in the States about a decade ago. But now some people are being forced to close them up. Why and who's helping in tonight's Health Watch? Shelby Christensen's preparing for the U.S. Army. I'm going to be going into explosive ordnance disposal. I'll be helping find IUDs and dispose of them for our troops in Afghanistan. But something needs to happen first. I am extremely nervous. I have a phobia of surgeries, but I figure got to get it done. So here I am. <laughs> Nearly a decade ago, Shelby did what a lot of teenagers do. My friends were doing it and I was like, well, I want to be part of the cool crowd. So I started doing it too. He started stretching the holes in his earlobes. Yeah, it, it hurt quite a bit. I did it very unhealthily. I jumped from a normal piercing, which is a 16 gauge to a four, which is skipping like six or seven sizes right there. Little did he know then these holes in his ears would prevent him from joining the army. Yeah. So we ended up here at Sierra Nevada Cosmetic and Laser Surgery, where Dr. Kyle Yamamoto, who specializes in facial plastic surgery, starts marking him up. He's closed a number of stretched ears after military recruiters reached out. They changed the rules a few years ago so that if uh, anybody has anything bigger than a pinhole, uh, like a regular piercing, then they have to be repaired. After numbing both sides, I feel like everybody's a little more sensitive on the left. It's time for the in-office procedure. Smaller gauge hole procedures could take 20 minutes an ear, but Shelby's will be closer to an hour per side. The entire earlobe has to be reconstructed, so we're removing skin. We have to move some skin around and sew it up in certain ways to make it look as good as possible. He's basically recreating the earlobe. A lot of people are looking at them fixed, and there aren't many surgeons that are doing them, so it's nice to be able to offer that. Sutures and sticky tape stay on for about a week, but that's it. Here are Shelby's before pictures, and look at him now. As for whether he'll miss the holes... It's no biggie. It's just a piece of skin, and... This is my future we're talking about, so I'd much rather worry about that. Doesn't that look great? Dr. Yamamoto is offering a discount to anyone joining the military. For a closer look and contact information, go to KTVN.com and click on the Health Watch icon.